Welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about a straight permutation box, or simply we call it as P box. So, in our last class, we clearly discussed about the introduction to modern block cipher. There, we have discussed about DES and AES names. Those are the modern block ciphers. In order to understand those DES AES, we have to discuss many of the concepts. Our first concept is straight permutation box. All these concepts are used in understanding our modern block ciphers. So now coming to what is meant by straight permutation box means uh, see straight permutation box is same as traditional transposition cipher. What, what's that mean? Traditional transposition cipher means in our previous classes, uh, we clearly discussed some basic transposition cipher techniques. Transposition means permutation of uh, characters, means changing the characters positions. That is what transposition cipher means. This is same as uh, transposition, tra traditional transposition cipher technique. But here we are going to do on bits. In our, in our previous example, simple examples, we have done the transposition on characters. But in our modern block ciphers, we go with the bits. So, let us try to understand what we are going to do in a straight permutation box. See here, during the encryption, suppose if in our example, if you are having 5 bits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, bit means 0 or 1. The first position bit, the bit in the plain text during the encryption, plain text is converted to cipher text. The first position bit will be positioned to fourth position in the cipher text. Similarly, second position bit will be placed to the first position in the cipher text. Third position is placed in the fifth position. Fourth position bit is placed in the third position. Fifth position bit is placed in the second position. So, this is how we are doing permutations, transposition of bits in the stride permutation box. During the encryption, if you follow this, during the decryption, what you are going to do? The first position will be moved to second position, second position bit will be moved to fifth position, so on, exact opposite. So, this is how we go with stride permutation box in encryption and decryption during the encryption and decryption. Similarly, the second point you need to understand how many possible keys are available if you are having 5 bits. This is one of the key possibility. Yes, there are multiple key possibilities. Is it, is it compulsory to take the first position bit to the fourth position? No, you can go, you can take the first position bit to the third position. You can take first, first position bit to the fifth position. All these are possibilities. So, how many possible keys are there for this transposition? Suppose, possible keys are, if you are, if you are taking three bits, three factorial possibilities are there, permutations are there. Three bits can be arranged in three positions in three factorial ways. These are the basics which we discussed in our discrete mathematics permutations and combinations. So, one is positioning to the first position, two is positioning to the second position, Th third bit in the plain text is positioned to the third position in the cipher text. Similarly, one is positioned to two, two is positioned to one, three is positioned to third position directly. All these possibilities, how many possible keys, this is one key, this is second key, this is third key, fourth key, fifth key, sixth key. So, total how many possibilities are there? Six possible keys are possible. Three factorial means n factorial, if you are having n bits, n factorial keys are possible. So, now coming to our modern, modern block ciphers, which we are going to use in our coming classes. See, this is how they are going to provide. So, example of stride P box. So, here 58 means in the plain text, 58th position bit will be placed in first position in cipher text. Similarly, second position, 50 means in the plain text, 58th position bit will be placed in second position in cipher text. This is what the meaning of a 
because you know last class we discussed that uh, modern block ciphers go with most of the times we are going to go with uh, 64 bit blocks so 64 bits are placed in this is how this is one of the key total how many keys possible 64 factorial keys possible so this is what we are going to use to do transposition so during the encryption we go this way during the decryption we go the exact opposite way hope you understand what stripe p box means why we got the name stripe p box means uh, we are able to by using this permutation we are able to do encryption and decryption both so that's why it, it's got the name stripe b box Stripe P box. You are going to understand uh, better what Stripe P box means in our coming classes. When in the next class, when we discuss about uh, expansion and uh, that uh, the technique which we discuss in our next class. Hope you understand this class. If you have any questions regarding the concept, uh, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.